Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So we're going to do another speed build. Uh, Chris is next to me. If he decides to insert some commentary, that might happen. So there might be some bantering back and forth. But that's fine because I don't really have a whole lot to say for 11 minutes. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up that that might not be happening. So anyway, I decided that our next addition to our new Crest neighborhood was going to be a coffee shop. Coffee shops got introduced with the get-together pack before we just had bars, and I feel like it was really awkward when it was, like, 2 in the afternoon, and you wanted to go pick up some Sims or, like, make some friends, but you could only go to the bar, and, like, no one's right at the bar at 2 in the afternoon. Um, so, coffee shops happened, and I decided I was going to make one. This is, like, heavily based off of a coffee shop that Chris and I went to a couple weekends ago. Literally, the second it was all said and done and built, I showed him, and I was like, hey, what do you think? And he's like, that's where we just were. So, I think that means I did a good job, is what that means. But, who knows? Um, what was I gonna say? I feel like a lot of people have had complaints before about, like, cafes and The Sims being really, like, non-functional, and there's a lot of empty space. But I don't really know what, like, you want there to be in a cafe, like, I don't, I don't know what there could be. There's tables and what chairs. And that's about it. It's like, I don't know what people want there to be. But all I did was put some tables and chairs. So hopefully nobody's too mad at me for that. Ugh. So right now we're building the actual, like, bar part of the cafe. We have the two little bakery things. And then the thing that you put your espresso bar on. I didn't put a retail counter because you can't do like a cafe, it's a retail store anyway. So there really was no point. Chris is walking behind me with the doge. Oh, look at the doge and the Chris. Featuring the doge. Featuring the dog. Oh, where you going? Where you going? Oh, no. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. This is a really good build. Thank you. I enjoyed looking at it. Thank oh, you. I'm sorry. I'm going to help. I'm providing some. Content. Oh, okay. So now we're doing the bookshelves. We're doing the, and then she's going to sell the coffee on the bookshelves. No, no, the coffee goes right there. See, there's a little bookshelf. Oh, where the bookshelves look? They're just there for bookshelves. Mm -hmm. They add some aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. I use, like, so much stuff from the Spa Day pack in this build. It's not even funny. <laughs> like, oh, I might be dying. You smell like a weird combination of Doritos and Swiss cheese, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> uh, I can't wait until I place the windows, because I just want to talk about my favorite windows ever that I've never actually used in a build before. But I was really excited about it. Where are they? They're the laundry day bay windows, and I think they look fancy. Super, super fancy. I like them. I think they're cool. I don't know. I wish I put more windows in this build, but, like, you couldn't really put a lot of windows. And in real life, like, the store didn't have a lot to go off of because it was, like, row stores. So all they really have were front windows. And that looks fine like that, but when you've only got one place on a lot, it can look a little awkward. Maybe. I don't know. Ugh. Put in the chair. I struggled to find tables that, like, fit with the chairs. I thought end tables would do fine, but then they were, like, a little too big. But I didn't want, like, tables and chairs right there. I wanted, like, little, like, loungy chairs and little tables. So we went with those ones in the Machino pack. They look just fine, I suppose. Look at me, like, trying to figure out how to build a bathroom. That's where the bathroom is going to be, if you guys didn't notice. Uh, yeah. I always forget whenever I build, like, public lots... Or, like, retail locations or whatever it is that I build. I always forget to add a bathroom. All the time. I always forget bathrooms. Like, even in the park one that I just did before. That I'm going to, like, blow the one I said before. I didn't put a bathroom. Granted, you're outside. I don't know a lot of outside spaces that have bathrooms. So, I don't feel as bad about that one. But, like, I usually do. I forget bathrooms every time. And then they're like, oh, you need to put in a bathroom. And you under the little requirement thing. I'm like, I already put everything else. Like, I can't just add a bathroom. So I always have, like, a weird little side room that, like, should, doesn't really make sense for it to be there. But it had to be the bathroom. This is a little kitchen. 
for you on like breakfast sandwiches and stuff. I know The Sims doesn't have breakfast sandwiches, but they should. Just saying. Unless it's in the dine out pack. That's the next one that I think I'm gonna get. Either dine out or parenthood are the two that I've been looking at a lot lately. I really want the spooky stuff pack, but I feel like it doesn't add enough to like buy it. I don't know. Like it adds cool things. We can only really use them around Halloween and uh yeah. Like I mean and I feel like you got a good amount of things in seasons that you don't necessarily need spooky stuff. Uh, uh, ice cream maker and a popcorn maker. I don't know why I keep adding the popcorn maker everywhere, but ever since I got it with movie hangout stuff, I'm super obsessed with this popcorn maker. And I put it in everything. No lie. Sorry, guys. I accidentally hit the button on my light. So if things just change, it's because I can't help but play with things. We got some sinks. I was, like, really scrolling, trying to find things to just, like, decorate the place with. Like, we got a microwave and... Yeah, I don't know. I was struggling a little bit. Lighting. This is another thing. Lights were taking forever to figure out which lights I wanted. But everything kind of started to come together eventually. Like, I knew I wanted hang down lights, but, like, funky ones. I thought I was going to go with those, but they didn't actually light anything up enough. So I ended up switching to a different kind of light. Because it was, like, only lit up right, 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 what was right directly under the them. So I thought it would be a waste to have those and then extra lights. So you can see me, like, trying to light up the bookcases, and it's just not happening. So I ended up having to switch lights all together. And I ended up, I think, going with ones from Movie Hangout Pack. Yeah, they're, like, fun little funky lights. Yeah. I'm a fan. Obviously. I built it, so... I'm gonna be a fan. What am I looking for? Oh, I was looking for signs, like to go out front, like a little, yeah. That, I like couldn't settle on a sign. I was looking all over. I swore there was one that existed that didn't actually exist. But I was looking, nonetheless. And I did make that a little bigger. Usually they're, yep, see, super tiny. I made it bigger to like fit what we needed. And then I was going to do the outside all brick, and then I thought it looked kind of weird, and then that came with outdoor retreat. I tried that. Didn't like that. I ended up switching to another spot, I think, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm, like, super into that brick, though. Or the wood slats, whatever it is. I like it a lot. So, and then back here, I tried to do up the back deck a little bit. I ended up having some issues with those. I was trying to place things on the wall, and then I had tables. And I feel like I honestly... If... I could do this over, I would just shift the whole build slightly forward to give myself a little bit more room on the back deck for those tables, because I ended up actually somehow deleting one of them, but I don't mind it that much, just because, you know, I think two tables out back is enough through the little crowded anyway, and you have plenty of tables and chairs inside, so, like, you're not really missing out much, but yeah, that table closest to the wall was giving me a whole lot of trouble. So I was trying to put these, like, little plant things on the wall with the succulents. I don't even know what they are. I just thought they looked really cool. And then I switched the door. And then I end up, I know I popped some ivy on the wall, which I know. In my one speed build, the Glimmer Brook Academy one, I was like, oh, I'm never going to mess with this again. Will I mess with it again? I think it looks a little better this time, though, than it did back then. Because... Yeah, like I said, this was based off of a place that we went, and they had, like, the ivy on the wall and the little... So, I copycat it a little bit. Alright, just a little. That's a little spot for trash cans. I feel like that's important in a retail lot. Like, you need to know where your trash cans are going to go. Then I end up changing the base. Now, if you notice, it's the same type of, like, stone bottom pillory bit that's over in the park that's next door. So I think that's super important that they all match. Just because it kind of ties them all together as like one town. In my head at least. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, well, I went back inside. Alright, and then I decorated the inside a little bit more. I put on just some things to fill up space. A little bit of clutter. I actually ended up doing that after I had already finished, so this is like a little added in bit. So that's why that transition was a little awkward. But yeah, I like put things on the tables because it felt like it was a little empty. And then I know that I get rid of the two paintings that I had. 
and I end up adding windows. We get a fire extinguisher and a thermostat. I don't even know if the thermostats work in the game, but that's all that we have when I thought it was a nice little touch. I also added a, um, what's it called? Smoke detector, because Chris was building, he was playing a game behind me while I was recording this, and he was talking about how he couldn't afford to put a smoke detector in his game, and I was like, I guess that would be important, is a smoke detector. So I did add one in as well. And then I put in some plants. Been like I said in the last video, I've been trying to use plants a lot more and kind of like landscape a little bit better, just to like pretty up the lot. I don't know. I don't really know if to me it makes a big difference. Like, I think a couple little plants do. But I don't really... I don't know. I think I'm going to start building things on Twitch to actually use it. And then I'll just upload it as a speed build here. So this is like, I made a whole Twitch account and I've never actually used it. So, like, might as well start doing that. I don't know, though. Nothing's set in stone. Uh, I'll let you guys know if I ever figure that out. Do this this way, yeah. I have a lot of issues with like figuring out what I wanted to do there, so I went with the same kind of thing that I had in the park again. And we put some doggy water bowls and food bowls just because we're super dog friendly in Newcrest. And you guys notice, and we got trees. Alright, then this is me adding all the features in from before I placed the trees and some stuff, so. Sorry, in advance, like it said, awkwardly cut, added in an extra bit. This last bit's just me filling it in, adding it to the gallery. Like all of my builds, this is available on the gallery using the hashtag StealthyPenguin2. Feel free to download it into your game. Use it however you want. You know, could be a fun time. Hope to see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this little speed build. If you have any suggestions for what I need to put into New Crest, go ahead and put it down in the link in the comments below, and I'll get to building. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.